3I Atlas, the interstellar comet spinning through our solar system, is racing toward the sun. Will it hold together or puff apart? Even from far away, 3I Atlas is shedding a little material. A July 2025 study by Bryce Bolin estimated its dust loss at just a tenth to one kilogram per second. That's barely anything. At this rate, it would take millions of years to lose even a small fraction of its mass. But the real strain comes from its spin. 3I Atlas rotates once every four hours, fast for a six kilometer wide comet. That spin creates centrifugal forces more than twice as strong as its own gravity. To stay intact, it relies on its internal cohesion, around 260 pascals, just enough to keep it from flying apart. It's flexible, like a snowball of dust and frost, not a solid rock. Now, what about the sun's pull? At its closest approach, about 200 million kilometers away, the sun's tidal stress is unbelievably small, roughly 80 millionths of a pascal. Compare that to the comet's internal cohesion of around 260 pascals. The sun would need to drag it into within a million miles to even begin to tear it apart. So tidal forces, not a threat. Other effects, sunlight pressure, the Wyckowski spin from uneven heating, or the pointing Robertson drag from photon momentum are all whisper light compared to that cohesion. Together, they can erode dust grains or tweak the orbit, but they won't break the comet apart. The wild card is its chemistry. As 3I Atlas turned green, likely from cyanide gases released as sunlight warms the surface, hidden pockets of ice and gas may suddenly vent, puffing out jets and reshaping the comet's surface. Those local eruptions could occur again as ice sublimates from 3I Atlas and uncovers new pockets, and they could in theory destabilize small fragments or shift its spin. So will it survive its meeting with the sun? Almost certainly, though it might shed some dust and ice along the way. 3I Atlas is a featherweight traveler, not a brick. Flexible, fragile, and beautiful. Let's see what shape it takes after this solar dance. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mwah.